Back stance. Knee up. Out. No, oh, sorry. Ball. Oh, sorry. Back and down. As you do this, and as you do stretches to, uh, to uh, expand your range, you'll be able to do that, uh, that thrust and front ball kick to somebody's jaw. One more time, at your own speed, a thrusting front ball kick. Go! Nice. You have the same four parts of every kick. When you chamber for a side kick, your knee's gonna come all the way around. If, for instance, you have your, your right hand is sticking out pointing towards me, and his, uh, his uh, left knee is gonna come up and touch that in chambers. And then it goes out, back, and down. Excellent. One more time. Knee up, out, back, and down. Side kick. Move, set, swing. Make sure you bring it all the way over. Side kick. Move, set, swing. Side kick. Move, set, swing. Nice. You have the same moves with a back kick. Now, when we say back kick, we're talking about a type of kick not the direction. So a back kick is not necessarily to your back, it could be. But we're going to do it so that uh, actually when we do a back kick, um, uh, Mr. Chen is going to spin all the way around so that his left foot is pointing straight at me. He's going to be crossing the, uh, the, the line. Now you have the same thing. You can kick straight up from here or you can, if you chamber your knee up for a back kick, it gets tremendously more power. And then the knee goes up, or you can just say that. And, and the foot goes out. And then back and down. When you do a back kick, the, uh, the knee is facing to the ground. Still facing forward, sir. Do a back kick uh, with your left leg to uh, uh, yeah, two six o'clock. Back kick, bring it up, and kick back, bring it up, and back. It's essentially kicking like a mule. Let me see you do that, sir. Uh, a left legged back kick to six o'clock. Move. That was scary. <laughs> <laughs> Good, one more time. Uh, kicking to, uh, let's go with your right foot. Every time, you see, when they're doing a back kick, the knee for a back kick is pointed down. It's pointed at, uh, at, at the ground. So if you're kicking to six o'clock, your right leg is, uh, your right knee is pointing to the ground. Right leg back kick. Move, set, nice. When you do a, a roundhouse, you got a lot of, uh, of um, what you can do with your front foot or your back foot. One of your basic maneuvers is a step through. Let me see you guys stepping forward and then shuffle back, move, and then shuffle back. Stepping forward, shuffle back, move, and shuffle back. Uh, when you step through forward, uh, this time you're going to, uh, your knee's coming up. You're setting up for a roundhouse. Uh, step through forward with the knee kick. It's, it's, and, and it is, it is as though you're stepping forward with a knee kick, stepping forward, knee kick up, and then uh, and it's going to then whip around. Yes, good. Step you back. Do that. Uh, do that same thing again that you just did. And the knees coming up. Nice. Now instead of landing forward, switch again. Instead of landing forward, that knee's going to come up, and at the moment of impact, it will whip around. It goes around the house. Uh, step through round the house. Move. And he has the same four parts. It's a bit more complex when you do a step through and when you're doing a round pass, uh, but it is the same thing. The knee comes up, the foot goes out, it comes back, and then you land. That back part is essential on all of these because that's where you gain your balance. Uh, if you just if you just kick and land forward, do kick and land forward without uh, without part three, so you're not bringing the foot back. You know what I mean? It's so just uh, step through uh, for, uh, round pass kick. Move. <laughs> <laughs> you can't I'm help but bring it back. I was asking you to do it badly, where you, where you do a kick and you land. Oh, forward. sorry. Because a lot of us as you learn this, will see that, that the roundhouse kick is landing forward. Let's see, you do it badly. So land forward with your roundhouse kick. There you go. Good. That's, That's a good bad. That's a bad. Bad. It gets, And this is what habit is about. That when you get a habit, it's not something you're thinking about. It's not something you're trying to do. It's what you do, what you do all the time. Make all four parts of these kicks happen, and you'll always be on balance. Balance is the center key of everything that we do all the time. You always have to be on balance before you throw a move. Well, you'll always be happier if you are on balance before you throw a move. Uh, let's right now uh, 
Uh, so those are four major kits. Often when we do a back kick, we're doing a spinning back kick where, where we have a, a tobia line right here. The first thing you do is you step across that tobia line with your lead foot to create a new tobia line. You spin around to a reverse cat looking over your right shoulder, and you bring that knee up, snap the back kick, bring it back, and land forward to, you move to a parallel tobia line. Uh, let's do that again on the other side. No, no, we'll start from, uh, you're there. Yeah, you're there on the left. Let's, uh, let's uh, uh, start from this side. So, step across the line with your right foot, look over your left shoulder, and snap that kick out, and then forward to a new toe. Good. Shuffle back, shuffle back. Actually, yeah, start on your blue lines so that folks can uh, uh, see this. Do a uh, spinning back kick at your own pace. Move! Snap! Foot! Next. Uh, Sir, face the back wall, you're facing six, you're facing uh, the 12, is this uh, No, actually, here's what you get here. But yeah, I want you guys to be doing a, uh, a spinning back kick without running into each other. So, slowly, step across the line, look, kick, land forward. Good. Go back to the original starting spot. Spinning back kick. Move. Seven. Excellent. Good. We're going to put all these together with, uh, here, you're out for a moment, sir. We're going to work, uh, when you do kicking set one, you're working perfect, beautiful kick, and also you're working your, your basic foot maneuvers. If you step back and go right into the ball, uh, one of the, uh, the first foot maneuvers that we just did is a step through, stepping forward. And you notice his knee is leading, stepping back. You follow the knee. You stay on the same side of the toe heel line. Actually, for right now, sir, step through with a knee kick, like you're coming up, bam. So you step back to your uh, uh, right neutral bow, and step through with a knee kick, like you're kneeing somebody in the belt. Bam, and land back. And then, oh, wait a minute. No, 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 you're right. No, it's a land forward and step through back. Do the same thing. All right, do it one more time. You're kneeing somebody in the belly of the groin. Go. Bam. And step through back. Now do the same thing, the same kind of uh, uh, direction of the knee, but this time it's not leaving the ground. That makes it a step through, uh, focusing on the knee. Step you forward, nice. Step you back, nice. Uh, that's one basic maneuver. Uh, when we say feet drag up, we mean they come together. So going forward, just drag your back foot up and step out. Good. Drag step forward. Drag step back. Shuffle back, shuffle back. Great. Drag knees and feet are coming together. Drag up, step back. Drag knees and feet are coming together, step knees and feet are going back. Going back, drag back, step out. Drag step forward, drag step back. Drag step forward, drag step back. A drag that keeps going becomes a crossover. You're going forward with a front crossover step out move. Going back with a rear crossover step out. Move. Excellent. Notice when you do those two, you keep the same toe heel line. That's not true if you go forward with a rear crossover step out. Going forward, rear crossover step out. Move. And that's not true if you're going back with a front crossover step out. Uh, back with a front crossover step out. Move. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you, Mr. Chen. Uh, we're going to work on kicking set one. The first side of kicking set one, everything happens in the same toe heel line, and uh, each kick begins and ends in a neutral bow. Step back to a left neutral bow. Your first one is a step through thrusting front ball kick. Move. Nice. And step through back again. I want to see that again. So you see that knee coming up, the foot going out, bringing back and landing down. And you're landing in that same toe heel line. Then when you do a... Uh, uh, go ahead and do that again, one more time. Thrusting front ball kick, landing forward right neutral ball. A drag up that keeps going becomes a crossover. You're going to do a drag up, crossover, side kick. Excellent. Uh, step through back. Step through back. Actually, step back to your horse stance. Let's do that again. Both of those kicks. Step through front, front crossover, side. Ready? And go. Excellent. Each of these kicks is covering a little bit less ground. So your third kick 
is a drag up. Drag up, roundhouse. Snap in that kick. Each kick is covering a bit less ground. And then your final kick covers absolutely no ground at all. You step across that toe heel line with your lead foot, look over your left foot, and snap a spinning back kick. Good. Shuffle back, shuffle back, and switch. And switch, good. Let me, so let me see that again, and this time you can see how the spin can add power uh, to the kick. So spin into that back kick. Go. Very nice. Go back to the beginning. Let me see that first leg again. Each side, do it very slow. At the end, you'll, you'll be able to do it uh, with speed. But this is slow, moving slowly, all four kicks, each one beginning and ending in a neutral bow. And go. Nice. The slow motion kick is also an excellent tool for, uh, for learning the kick. You finish every side in neutral bow and step back to face the new direction. So now he's in a left neutral bow. All of the kicks on this side will be with a right foot, with your right foot. Each side of kicking set one starts with a step through kick. We did a step through front. This is a step through side kick. Sir, go, step through side. It's a, it's a kind of clunky psychic uh, because you got to come all the way around your body to chamber for that. But that's what it is. Will you do that one more time? Uh, show us that uh, step through psychic and watch, see how his knee goes all the way across the body to chamber before landing. It's not the easiest uh, of sidekicks to do. One of the things that you practice anytime you do a set is, uh, is doing things difficultly, difficultly so that you uh, can learn what the actual structure is. The remaining kicks of the next two sides are all drag up. This is about where do your hips face for a drag up front kick. Drag up front kick, sir, go. You notice they're all facing straight forward. Uh, shuffle back, do that again. And watch how his hips and shoulders face square, uh, square head on the same toe heel line. Brings the knee up, snaps the kick, lands forward. When he does a drag up roundhouse, he's staying behind his foot. So his hips and shoulders are facing to the corner. Drag up roundhouse. Nice, shuffle back, do that again. Drag up roundhouse, nice. And when you do a drag up back kick, you're moving to a parallel toe heel line. He's coming up behind himself as his foot drags up to our side of, of his, uh, uh, see he's dragging up, so he's setting up his right foot again and shoot that back kick in, move. And landing forward to a new toe heel line. Here, go back to where you started. And let's see that again. So he's dragging up to our side, his far side of, uh, of his lead foot, setting up the back kick and go. Good. And then again, he steps away to face the new direction, which is us. And what's kind of, again, keep in mind that what you're doing when you practice these is you're learning, you're, uh, you're learning on a set, you're always learning something specific. Kicking set one, you're learning these kicks. It's not necessarily how you do an actual fight. So he stepped away with his left foot. All the kicks on this side will be the left foot and he's stepping through with a uh, step through left back kick. And go, sir. Very nice. That's a more difficult kick actually than a spinning back kick because you don't step across the line. The advantage to it is that uh, there's no tell. You don't see the guy step across the line so the kick happens a little bit sooner. Let me see you do that again, sir. So just uh, uh, step through back kick, go. Nice, good, there's less of a give, good. Do it again. Step through back kick, go. Very nice. Again, now these are all with the left foot. It's the reverse of what you just did. You just did uh, side front round back and now you're doing back round front side. So you're dragging up, roundhouse, move. Very nice. Dragging up, front kick, move. Staying again beside, behind the foot, same as you did uh, uh, for the roundhouse. Drag up, side kick, move. Excellent. And he's in a left neutral ball. And again, steps back to face his new direction. This side is kind of your, your reward for all, all, the, uh, all the sides, all the kicks that came before it. This is one single combination. Uh, every kick is gonna be with your back foot. And, it's, and each time you land, 
you're going into the next kick immediately. So your first combination, which you did before, you did a roundhouse uh, spinning back before, but this time you're landing across the line straight into the spinning back kick. So it speeds it up. The, the pattern of kicks is round, back, front, side. We'll do them slow first. Step through roundhouse, move. Land across the line into your spinning back kick, move. Land across the line into your step through front kick and set up your step through side kick. Nice, will you go back and show us those again? Uh, again, every side started with a different kick. This is starting with your round, round, back, front side. When you're ready, sir, go round, back, front, and side. Excellent chambers. Good, all right? Okay, sir, now we're gonna do kicking set one with key eyes at power and speed. When you're ready, sir, go. Excellent. Well done.